That is so frustrating, man. Oh, shit. Arizona. 4th of July. Fucking of course. God is... I didn't see what that said. Hi. I would have spat in that woman's fucking face by now. Don't look at me. Shut the fuck up, man. This has been. See. Yo soy Diego. Mi mi esposa Carla. Y este frijolito de aquí es, um, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron a cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave... Una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. Seriously. Why are you doing this? What's your problem? Doing what? You shot my 10-year-old brother. It was a mistake. It's just a graze. The fall is what knocked him out. Oh, you don't have to talk to him, Dad. Ugh. Right in her mouth. I hope that bitch. Campbell's almost done with the paperwork. Then we're out and we're not coming back. Ugh. This place is fucking gross. So are you, you fucking Thanks. cunt. I'll remember that. Uh, get high on life, whatever, man. I don't know. Door. No way I can break through that door without Daniel's help. This guy must be trained not to listen to anything we say. Hmm. Jeez. Wonder how many people have been locked up in here. ¿Cómo estás, cariño? Me duele la espalda. I was half expecting to see... Uh, Apóyate aquí si quieres. Hold to another dimension Tranquilo, or something. Tranquilo, amor. Whatever it was. No soy de porcelana. Um. ¿Saben cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí? No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. Illegal. We aren't illegal, sorry. Uh, trying to reach Mexico. En realidad, um, queremos llegar a México. A México? No mames. Pero por qué? Entonces son gringos. Sí, nacimos aquí, pero ahora tenemos que irnos. Todos estamos escapando de algo. Es la tercera vez. Intentamos cruzar la frontera. Why? ¿Por qué necesitan cruzar tan desesperadamente? Por las mismas razones que todos. No podemos soportar la inseguridad ni la miseria. En México, mm. la violencia tiene muchas formas. Mm. No se puede vivir así. Cuando mi hermano fue secuestrado y, y asesinado por una pandilla, nos fuimos. Si hubiésemos pedido quedarnos, nos habríamos quedado en nuestro pueblo, pero queremos darle una vida, una vida mejor a nuestro hijo o hija. Mm. That's completely fair. Not an El Dorado. Los Estados Unidos. 
yeah, far from it. No es el paraíso but que it's espera. anywhere. It, it's is anywhere in El Dorado. En serio, mucha gente viene aquí pensando que van a vivir el American Dream, pero muchos no lo logran. Sin embargo, tenemos que probar. Mm. Nosotros también merecemos un poco de esperanza. That's no true. Quiero desanimarte, amigo, pero lo de México. No va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Y me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? No sé, creo que soy un poco pesimista en el camino. No solo me encontré con gente amable. Me imagino. Cuando eres extranjero, tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglártelas. Así funciona. Oh, shit. Just shut the fuck up before Enough you say anything. Now. It's America. We speak English. Oh, we're just talking. Grab her no, arm, pull it through, fucking break it, man. Into my country. Mm. We come here to work, not, not steal or live at your at your home. Diego, no, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble, and we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride, and that makes me sick. You're generalizing. Immigrants built the country. Stop causing trouble. All of them are fuck we fucking valid. Oh, shit. shit. All of them are fucking peace, valid. Yes. An honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> That's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. You're a bigot. My dad worked hard. You're a bigot. Your facts are just bigotry and hatred. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I hate what you did to my country. Our borders. We have a right to protect our sovereign nation, and we will. Damn right, baby girl. You hunt us like, 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 like animals. I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See? You love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. Yes, yeah, a bit it much, isn't it? Do it for our child. A mother must understand. No, you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. What? Maddie. What you say? Oh, see? There you go. Take it easy. This is our country. Siéntate bien. Solo vas a empeorar las cosas para ustedes. Tienes razón, amor. No vale la pena. Whether you people like it or not, we're not gonna give you a break. You're in jail, too. Loser. Losers being polite, to be fair, I would have fucking. Mm. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit! Hey, you have the right to remain silent, so fucking use it, okay? <laughs> Alright. I like yes. him. Yes. <laughs> You're up. How's. My brother. Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. Can't hate the cop, he's only doing his job. And he seems okay so far. Okay. Let's move it. How the fuck is this gonna end, man? It's gotta end with him. He's gonna go to jail. I'm, I'm already All right. ready for the worst. Sit down. Where's my Where brother? Was, was He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood. But he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? Okay. Good. Be right back. Fuck. Great. Hmm. Now I can put on a fucking show. I hope he's all right. Oh, shit. Is it morning already? 
Shit, man. Haven't seen Daniel since yesterday. No point in getting these off. There are cops everywhere. Daniel doesn't freak out in here. Hmm. Ah, the break option. He did say there was no point because there's police everywhere. What? You don't get to talk to me like that, Mama Sita. You understand? Mama Sita. Why am I in here? Hey! 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 Let me out of here! Why? I'm not illegal! I'm a sovereign! You shot a fucking kid, Open you up. bitch. Hey! What are you babbling about now? <laughs> Do you ever just not yell? It's been a long fucking night. We're all sick of your shit. Yeah. Why don't you come back here again? You're going to solitary. Got it? There's no point in trying to break it. I did, I was tempted, but, you know, even Sean said there was no point in breaking it. Thanks, there you man. go. I thought that Looks would have been a bit of a risk. Like you need it. Thanks. You could just splash him in the face. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Do I want to drink Seriously? Coffee? No shit. You're just catching I hope up with let me see well. Daniel. He must be scared shitless. <sighs> yeah. Coffee's gonna make me feel so much better. Okay. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle, assaulting a gas station clerk, caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. <laughs> then you join a religious commune in Nevada, not oh, voluntarily, which ends up burnt to the ground. And we're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with, but not all that. Whatever I can explain, don't say nothing. Let it just time out. You could have made me answer, aren't you? Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Keep your teenage crisis for Agent Flores. She's on her way. Oh, she spoke to your mother. Shit. Who took responsibility for the church fire? So that's one of the things. Um, she says a lot. She says a lot. Who cares? You don't have any proof. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey. It's not up to me, kid. Listen. I feel sorry for you. I really do. But... Denying what you did will only make things worse. It wasn't my fault. All I did... Was try to survive. Yeah, I guess you did. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthews' death was an accident, so why didn't you wait for the police? Hmm. It's true. No one would have believed what happened. We didn't either. Well, it's too late now. Your case is filled to the brim with evidence. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. Uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. 
How? We're supervillains? Oh. What if there's... I like... Oh, why do I like that? We're supervillains. Those were just random accidents. Yeah, it's crazy, but it just happens around us. I can't explain it. Uh-huh. Listen, once is an accident. Twice is luck. Three times is enemy action. Whoa! Uh, what is that? Sir, I don't think you should... Keep your ass in that seat. Oh, Daniel. Sean! You okay? How do you feel? I'm okay, just a little headache. Hold on. Holy fucking shit, man. Dude, we gotta go. Hold on. Is he okay? I I wanted to rescue you, but I I had to use my power. I didn't wanna hurt him. He's okay. Don't worry. Holy fucking hey. shit. Hey! This is Mom, bullshit! You gotta go! Get us out of here! Oh, it's got enough. Estoy aquí. Shall we try to make peace with these morons? Mom. Absolutely fucking not. Who free these, these guys, people? though. Well, help. Can we free them? Carla and Diego. They came all the way from Mexico. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. And oh. got thrown in jail for it. As for the others. They're the ones who try to shoot you. What? They got locked up? Good. Oh, go to hell. Wait. Set them free. Aren't you supposed to be in a hospital? You look like crazy people. Set Hold them on. free. Abso fucking. We're gonna get you out. She's fucking pregnant. She shouldn't even Daniel. be in there, man. Wow. That's it. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Get the fuck out. Esperen me aquí until I check this out. O of course. Oh, holy mother. How? Wait. Let's go. What the fuck are you? Is he alive? He's, out for the he's count. alive. Okay, he's cool. He's fine. Yeah. Ooh. You think. Holy okay, shit. Hands up. shit. Hands Wait, up. Don't shoot. Hands up. Do not move. Wait. Sean. Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Sean, what do I do? Quick. I gotta find something to stop them. Distract. The chair. Fuck. They're dangerous. Be careful. We will shoot if we need to. Oh, oh shit. Understand? I'm scared. What the fuck? Anything else? Okay, Anything what else? The fuck. Do not move. What? Don't okay. do anything stupid, oh, locker. kid. Locker. This is Let's get our last station. warning. Put your guns down. Please. Oh shit. Sean! What just happened? Sean! Hey, uh, you you alright? I'm I'm used to it. I'm okay. I what just happened? What? I didn't want to hurt anybody anymore. You saved us. We had no choice. Now who oh, Let's bail. Did they die? Sean, I think our things are in there. Open. Hey, I was about to hey, do the locker, hey, and then. What did you do? You yes. Don't move. I'll be Shit, right back. man. Okay, but be quick. Fuck, dude. All right, wait, wait, wait. What else was there? After this, you're not gonna hunt shit anymore. Walkie -talkie. They must really feel threatened to put so much effort into this. Yeah, man. Also stupid. Bet it belongs to one of these trigger happy people. Yeah, more than likely. Can we pick up? Yeah, pick up. Fuck yeah. Pretty good memory. What was it? 
from a pretty bad place. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, Come on, Sean. Oh, hello. Wait, wait. Go. What is this? Look at that. Crime Central. Uh, sh should we just? Can we not go back to let them free? 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 Can't even talk. Oh, dude, what the fuck? Are they we dead? We'd be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. I hate that he has to use this for all this shit. I, I don't know if they died or not. I was about to literally use the locker thing, and it just didn't. Take it out, Daniel. Whoa. There they are. Okay, that's good. Okay. Go! Go! Shit, man. Let's roll, Daniel. Holy shit. Oh, my hands are sweating now. <laughs> my hands have been sweating for like, the whole thing. Pretty I don't even shot. think I've been able Try. to talk properly. Holy fuck, man. Chasing us. Not yet. Emergency. This is an all points bulletin for every unit in the area. Multiple Shit. prisoners, two adults, and two teenagers have escaped from the El Ray police station. They are considered armed and dangerous. Repeat. Are we still going to Mexico? We got no choice. Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Sean. It's the 4th of July. Our first one without dad. You're right. Remember how he was so in the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. <laughs> I know. He is so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. You know that day? In Seattle? The day Dad was shot? I think about it every day. And I would give anything to change what happened. But I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. I'm so proud of you, Nano. Just like Dad would be. We both learned a lot together. But you can make your own rules now. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. 
And if that happens, promise me that you will always do the right thing, okay? Don't waste your power. Be smart like you already are. I don't want to be separated. Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I promise, Sean. Oh my god, what's the no. final decision gonna be? How does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? Oh, don't ask that. <laughs> Fuck. No. Oh my god. David's conversation was foreshadowing. And I was, I was, oh, I was gonna say if it was or not, but I didn't want it to be. Fuck. Pros and cons. The cons is they get arrested, they get separated. Sean goes to jail, but Daniel goes free and he lives with his grandparents but at least the grandparents will do the right thing and they visit Sean and at this point we're going to reduce the risk of anyone dying because that's how I see this going we were meant to like in my head, there's this fairy tale of he just pushes everybody out the way and everybody goes flying and the gates erupt and shit and they just pile drive through and nobody gets hurt, nobody dies and miraculously they get to live the rest of their lives in Mexico, but we know that's not going to happen. I don't see crossing the border being... Ah, oh, fuck. Their story ends right here. Here? But I, I could. I get it. It's not who we are. <laughs> exactly. Oh, he's learned so much. We're not criminals. We're just kids. And we still have time to choose what life we want to live. You're my brother. And I love you. I... I love you too, Sean. It's gonna be <laughs> alright. I promise. You promise? For real this time? I do. We're doing the right thing. Just... Try and remember what I taught you. I mean, only the good shit. I will. I swear.
On your knees. I said on your knees now. I'm sorry about all this. We're gonna look after your brother. That's my word. Okay, he's ready. Sean! No! Sean! Oye, oye, oye. He's gonna be fine. Daniel! You're not a little wolf anymore. Never forget who you are. Never. Oh my god, look at him, man.
fuck. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Let's get straight to uh, the stats. Although it looks like there's not many, apparently. You decided to force the roadblock and Daniel accepted. You decided to force the roadblock and Daniel refused. You decided to surrender to the police and Daniel accepted. Oh, you decided to surrender to the police and Daniel refused. Okay, so I'm guessing this based off of like, um, wait, what percentage is my, oh, oh, so the two, the first and second place options were to break through and Daniel accepted and to surrender and Daniel accepted. Oh, imagine if, if, oh god, that would have been awful if, if Sean's asking him to break through the barricade and Daniel says no. Oh, shit. And you know what, probably it would be more sad to hear Daniel refuse after Sean suggested to surrender. Overall, you taught Daniel to do his best to follow the rules of society. Overall, you taught Daniel to put himself and his brother first. <sighs> Morally, yeah. <sighs> shit, man. I'm all congested and shit now. <laughs> I got, like, just gunk. Wolf pack, I got two trophies. You did the treasure hunt and found the hidden souvenir. Nice. Uh, you overall got closer to Karen. Uh, yeah, I felt like... Karen's character, although was questionable what she did, deserved that. And Sean... Sean, like, above all else, whatever Karen is like gets from that, whatever. But above all else, it was for Sean... And Daniel to to at least have a parent figure by the end of all of this. Because it's, it's, it was bad enough that they even lost one in the first place. But yeah. Um, you wrote a caring note to Karen. You wrote a conciliating note to Karen. You wrote a lukewarm note to Karen. You didn't leave a note to Karen. Yeah, I, that, that would have been nice. You said farewell to Arthur and Stanley. Good. You said farewell to Joanne. Good. You hugged Karen before leaving. Good. Happy with that. You intervened to calm Diego in the cells. Good. No point in making it worse on them. Uh, you freed the Mexican couple. Good. Uh, you asked Daniel to open the vigilante cell. You didn't ask. Fuck them. Why? I don't. I don't see. You asked Daniel to. Take revenge on the vigilantes. You didn't hurt the vigilantes. Ooh. I'm actually quite surprised that that number isn't higher. But a lot of these lessons are to do the right thing morally, so... They killed the police officers! Fuck! You asked Daniel to kill the officers to escape the police station. You didn't ask... Okay. You didn't ask Daniel to kill... Okay. 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 That doesn't mean they died, right? Uh, Daniel was told off about the scorpion and stopped messing with it. Daniel was told off about the scorpion but kept on messing with it. Daniel wasn't told off about the scorpion. Yeah. That's, that's good. Well, I think that was, that was a turning point because it was like... It was like the first time, I guess, that Sean's really, well, well, since the events of Nevada, that they've, that he sort of, like, told Daniel off and gave him a lecture, and it would have been a sort of, is Daniel still going to be a little bit reluctant to listen to him, or is he actually going to listen to him? And he did. Um, Daniel messaged 
managed to set up Joan's sculpture like he wanted. Uh, managed to set up Joan's sculpture with your help. Um, 81% sure. Uh, Daniel was concerned about uh, hurting Officer da uh, Campbell and wasn't concerned that's good. Uh, Daniel accepted to open the vigilante cell. Daniel wasn't asked to free the vigilante cell. Fuck them, whatever. They could just sit there. Uh, Daniel didn't have to lash out at the vigilantes. That's good. Uh, Daniel killed the officers when leaving the... Oh, wait. Uh, intervene because the officers got too close. Okay. Okay. Daniel locked up the officers in a closet. That was... Well, that's... Because I was... I looked at the um, at the, the lockers and I was like, okay, I'm guessing I'm going to have to wait and then bring it down and hit them. Which wouldn't kill them, but it would, you know, do something, right? Uh, Daniel wasn't asked to kill the officers. That's good. That's good. We don't want that. Is there anything else? Thanks for playing and following Sean and Daniel on their journey. Whew. There we go. That's it, man. Oh, man. I... Yeah, I thought I got emotional at um, the first Life is... Oh, dude. I almost had, like, the tiniest bit of regret at some point towards the end, like, with the ending that I picked, because, you know, you, you want them to have a life together, and you want them to to grow up together, and you wanted them to get through this more than anything, because that was obviously the end game goal, but... My decision was based off of everything that we've experienced. And everything that we've experienced was learning to move past certain things and learning to grow and, and I, I guess, control as well. Like, controlling yourself. And with, with that being said, with control is... is I guess realizing that not everything is in your control. And I could just see too many risks with trying to with trying to, you know, blur like burst through the barricade. I could see I could see Sean getting killed and it being a horrible ending where you know, Daniel either gets caught by the police and has to watch them drag Sean's body away, or he has to run into Mexico by himself, or vice versa, and Daniel gets killed, and Sean has to run away, knowing that his little brother's been left behind, and I just, I just saw too many negatives with trying to break through the border, man, and, oh, man, that ending where they revisit all of that, you, you could just see how sad Sean is, man. 15 years, he missed 15 years of his, his younger brother growing into a man and experiencing life and, and growing and he missed out having a family with you know, the grandparents and ah, oh, this game is just tragic, man but it's so good it's so good ah, man yeah, I can't even... My chest hurts. <laughs> and I've I've cried more than... I think this is the hardest I've cried in any game I've ever played, ever. Whew. Man, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Everything was just... I feel like the story went exactly in the direction that it was supposed to. Even at times where I felt like it, it, it wouldn't. Because ideally we'd all like the perfect ending and for, for no one to have any sort of injuries or death or anything like that. But that's just not... It's just, it's just too much. Too much out of our control. And again, that, I think that's what boiled down to me choosing to surrender. Is 
you know, Sean, this whole time doing what any any big brother should do, and that's that's making sacrifices for your younger brother to make sure that they're safe. And that's that's kind of where my head was at was you know because that's what I would do I would be miserable in prison sure and I'd be miserable coming out knowing that I missed out but the comfort is knowing that they were safe and that they they got to live there was no risk of them getting hurt oh man I'm exhausted <laughs> I am exhausted, man. I, I <laughs> yeah, this, this was, this, yeah, I can't even. I've never had a, um, a series of games, not just Life is Strange 2, but Life is Strange is 1 as well, but I feel, it's, it's, I feel actually more with this one. This one resonated with me a lot more than Life is Strange 1. And I think that's 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 cool. That's a that's a credit, that's a statement and a testament in itself to um, Square Enix and and or Square Enix and and Don't Nod, because when you make a game that good in the first place, as like a episode one or a chapter one or or just a first instalment, it it becomes very difficult to exceed that and to to beat that and to, to make something that's better than that but I feel like I'm not saying it's better because they're both different stories with different different lives and different everything different characters but it's definitely just as good in my opinion it's just as good as the first game I get emotional again <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, by the time you are watching this, um, I will have moved. So I won't be in this recording space anymore. I'll be in a completely different part of the country. And it won't be long after this is released that I will be playing Life is Strange True Colors, which is exciting because I don't know I don't know what to expect from that. But I guess you can expect that life will be strange. No matter what, whether it's one, two, three... Before the storm, true colors, double exposure. It's all it's always gonna be strange. But wonderful at the same time. <laughs> right. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I think I'm going to spend the next couple of hours staring into space, trying to contemplate everything that I've experienced with this game. As I usually do when games hit me this hard. <laughs> Man, yeah. Incredible game. Incredible game. There's nothing much more else to say apart from it was just amazing. Just unreal. With that being said, this has been Life is Strange 2. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this series. And as always, I will see you in true colors. Until next time, Madhouse. <laughs>